looking at the effects of fire on basically a balloon frame construction. So this is a simulation that you can do. Pretty easy to build a box like this, two, two by fours, and then just sheet it. Uh, basically we have cardboard in here, but what it's gonna allow us to use is thermal cameras, show our crews how to actually find hot spots and the effects of thermal cameras. Where are we gonna actually see uh, thermal uh, detection through an object. So we know that glass operates differently, sheetrock operates differently. One of the things you can do is actually do sheetrock a little higher um, and different panes in through here to simulate and show and demonstrate different things. So we'll light it up, see what it shows us. As we looked at the extension moving through that balloon frame to start with, you would expect what you'd expect to see we saw it was slow development uh but we had with any kind of body of fire once there was heat it developed pretty rapidly uh you weren't able to see on the thermal too much except for where the fire truly was visible by the naked eye uh, as time went on uh, the thermal did start to show some signs of thermal development that could be seen through the plywood it would have been different if this was sheetrock, uh, but as you can see, we let it develop and grow. And then basically at this point, once the fire reached the top, and you can see in the slow motion in a second, we really had a torching effect. So the fuel is just pouring out of the top. Once it is able to receive any kind of flame, whether it would have been from underneath, in this case it was from essentially outside of the wall, it really lights off and truly is torching into the space above. So if this is in an attic, uh, if this skips the first division, if it's a basement fire or even the second division uh, or you know up from there, there's a lot of kinetic energy that's going to shoot straight into that space wherever it opens up most of the time the attic uh, so we were able to see a lot of velocity and a lot of kinetic energy being transferred and it truly sounded like a blowtorch when it went off